Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, I just wanted to do a quick like life update video because I haven't done a video in a bit and I kind of just want to give um, you guys an idea of what's going on in my life and all the chaos that is happening. So, I cannot talk about the thing that shall not be named, but it's obviously moving forward and therefore I have that chaos kind of happening right now. Um, I am back to work now. Um, I'm a teacher, we're back to school full time. Last week was the first full week for me with students. It's been really good actually. Like I forget how much work the beginning of the year is, but my students have been great and I feel like they fell into a routine really quickly. Um, I always have one class that gets into a routine a little bit faster than the other. Um, and then they tend to flip. <laughs> the class that struggled with routine gets into a routine and then they can go with the flow or they can go with the routine and then my other class has the routine from the beginning but then they become really social and chatty. Um, this year I'm actually using Taylor <laughs> to teach some of my lessons, my social skills um, lessons because they listen to her. Um, I had an app, um, I went to workshop and they had talked about this My Talking Pet app and like hey it's really cool I checked it out it was like $42 and I was like mm -mm. but um, I went to go download it like the trial and it turned out that in like 2014 I actually purchased the same app for $1.99 for the pro version so I have the pro version so I'm doing that with like some songs and stuff and anyway they love it they love it <laughs> and like um, Friday I taught a lesson that I've taught multiple times and this was the first time that my kids got it on the first lesson. I was like, oh my gosh. <laughs> and I think it's because Taylor taught it and they were just like glued to Taylor. Anyway, so work is busy, 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 busy. I'm really trying hard to get my life organized with work so that future years it's literally copy paste, pull out what lessons, modify as needed for my classes. Um, but the majority of the work is really done. The um, my first four years of my career, I taught a totally different program than I'm teaching now. Well, one of those years I was teaching every grade, but I taught full day every day kindergarten, whereas since moving to Alberta, I teach um, a part-time program, so I teach the full day with the same kiddos, but they don't come every day. Um, so that was like a huge adjustment, and the curriculum's a bit different. Like it's, There's less to it, but there's still some parts that is like overwhelming because there's still a lot to it. There's a lot of assessment. I have a lot of students. A lot of students this year. Like, I don't know where they all came from, but I have way too many kids. Anyway, that's besides the point. Um, so the last two years in Alberta, I've been kind of like playing around with different programs and trying to see what worked curriculum wise, what worked with my kids. And I finally think I have things figured out um, that I can actually just do unit plans that will carry on at least for a while. Um, as long as I'm not switching grades and as long as the curriculum doesn't change, um, since the curriculum has been scrapped by the government, um, I can't see that happening anytime soon. So just getting that stuff kind of organized um, so that way future years I'm not reinventing the wheel every year. So that is time consuming but I think it's totally worth it because it's literally like on my plan book online I copy my lessons over and paste on my Google Slides, I copy and paste, and then in my, I have actual binders that have my actual lesson plans, so I just have to go in and grab that specific lesson. Whereas like things like Jump Math, um, I use Jump Math, but I don't teach all the lessons, and I don't teach all the parts of each lesson, so I would go and I would highlight, but then I'm trying to skim through the lesson to try to see what I need to do, whereas this, I'm like taking just what I want and putting it on my own lesson plans. Anyway, for those that aren't teachers and don't care about my job, I'm rambling for nothing. So anyway, working hard at that. Um, I have a computer course that I've been taking and I just literally today finished my um, final assignment and my final quiz. So that's really good. I finished my last project, I think yesterday. Um, so I'm sitting at, uh, I think a 98 right now. I did bad on one project because I didn't actually read the instructions and I did bad on one quiz because I rushed through it. Um, but everything else I have 100% on. So I have a really high mark, but I do horrible on exams. So next weekend my plan is to do the practice quiz or the practice exam and memorize because if I can memorize the answers, I'm good. Um, and from what I've heard, the exam and the practice exam are pretty much the same. So at least if I can get 
Like, if I get zero on the exam, I still pass the course, um, but I think I need a 72 to keep a 90 in the course. So after that, I am stopping courses for a while because I can't afford to be taking more courses with the stuff that shall not be named, um, but I do have to keep up one course a year in order to maintain my student status. So I'll be taking another course probably in the spring, um, and I'm going to take just an easy course. Um, because with the stuff that shall not be named, I don't want to overwhelm myself. Um, and this course was a lot of projects, um, a lot of assignments. Like there was constantly like three or four things I had to do every week, um, which was just kind of overwhelming. So my next course I think I'm going to take is more like a free, freestyle one where there's just a couple projects. There's no exam, um, and it's a little more like less rigid and less. Um, less stuff a lot every week. It's kind of slower paced. So, um, so yeah, I'm excited to do that course. I wish I had money now to do it because I'm kind of excited for that, but I'll take that in the springish. Um, what else is going on? Um, I'm going to do a weight loss log for Wednesday. Um, so I'm not going to talk about stuff like that, but, um, Life is just really busy right now. Um, I did sign up for two courses for work. One is a sign language course, and I think it's going to be my last sign language course. I've taken two sign language courses through sign signing online, sign online, um, through and work paid for it because it's part of our what I chose to do. Um, and then this one I've actually chosen to do the Sign It ASL, which is through um, Rachel Coleman. Coleman. I think that's her name. She does the signing time stuff. So she has a three unit program. Um, what I like with hers is there's no time limit. So my other courses, I think I had six months to finish it or three months to finish it or whatever. I think it was three months. Whereas this, I have lifetime access to it. So I don't have to do all three units in a, like right away. I'm not rushed. If I have to slow down and stop, I can. Um, and there's not this overwhelmingly thing going over me. Um, also from like the samples that I've done, I really like it because it got, goes into more sentence structure and it goes into more of um, the culture as well, whereas sign, sign it or signing online, sorry, signing online had some culture stuff, but um, I found that I didn't pick up sentence structure very well. So um, for me and my daughter, I don't really care a whole lot about sentence structure because we're probably going to do, I can't remember what it's called, but it's basically like sign assisted speech so like signing in the order that I would speak um, is kind of where I'm going with with her um, so for that and in my classroom I only use individual signs I don't sign really sentences if I sign, sign a sentence again it's sign assisted where I am signing as I'm speaking those individual words um, we also do some poems in sign language and they are again we're signing certain words from those poems or from those stories so um, that's kind of where I'm wanting to go with it. Um, and the other course I signed up starts October 1st. It runs all of October. And it's Daily 3 Math. Um, for those that are teachers, it's like a math centers kind of program. It's just something I'm trying to implement in my classroom this year. And um, I, I took the Daily 5 courses uh, course last year, which is like literacy centers. And so I really like that. Um, other stuff. My mom's doing good. Um, thank you for those that have... Um, sent positive energy my mom's way. Um, I don't think I mentioned it on YouTube. I might have just mentioned it on Instagram and on Patreon. Um, my mom had uh, emergency surgery. <laughs> um, she went in for a routine procedure that turned into emergency surgery and she's off now um, for I think another six weeks at least. She's fine. Everything's going great. She had her staples removed last week. Um, she's just really exhausted but I just went through the same surgery, not emergency wise, but still last year. So we're kind of like comparing notes. Her incision is different than mine. And like because her surgery was emergency and she lost a lot of blood, there's some differences. But there's a lot of things that I'm like, yep, I dealt with that too, mom. I dealt with that too. <laughs> um, but it's also kind of nice because with her hopefully retiring soon, it's like a taste of her work, realizing how much she does. And when she retires, <laughs> what they're going to have to figure out for people to do. Um, so yeah, and it's also good for her to see kind of what retirement would be like in a very boring way, uh, because right now she physically can't do a whole lot. Um, but anyway, what else? Um, so we've been talking about stuff like childcare and homeschool and stuff like that as well. I don't know long term what my homeschool plans are. 
Um, it kind of depends on my mom and where she's at when MRS becomes of school age. I would love for my mom to homeschool just because I feel like my mom can get give her more than the school system can, especially being in the school system and seeing how the school system treats kids with special needs. Um, I'm not... I don't feel like they can provide as individual of a program for her that my mom can. Um, and I like the way Alberta has their homeschool. You are linked with a school board and you do submit a plan and you do have, I think, two visits a year. So like I think one at the beginning of the year to kind of go over what your plan is for the year and one at the end of the school year to kind of go over what you did that year. Um, so there's accountability and because I'm a teacher, a lot of the stuff that I would implement is, I, I kind of know what I'm doing. Um, we would follow, I'm looking into like the Charlotte Mason stuff. Um, I hate to say unschooling because I think unschooling has like a horrible, horrible reputation. Um, and I think that's just because people kind of take it to like the extreme where they just let their kids sleep and play video games all day. Um, but for me, it's more like her following her interests in like science and social and whatever kind of thing she's interested in. Um, but I really like with Charlotte Mason, the, the secular version, how like finding living books and finding books that are classics and interesting books and doing a lot of stuff through literacy. Um, I really like that. But anyway, um, it's going to be a very long time before I have to worry about any of that. Um, but I'm a researcher and a planner, so I like um, looking into stuff like that. So um, that's what I've kind of been filling my days with, even though I should be doing like actual work. But um, yeah, so my mom moving here, um, I shouldn't say my mom, my parent, my family moving here because it'll be my mom, my dad, and both my brothers. Um, my mom will be my child care provider, hopefully. Um, and then once she becomes school age and I have to enroll in school, I'll be able to make that decision and I'll adjust as needed every year um, for what's best for her, what's best for my mom, what's working and whatnot. But I just like the fact that my mom can take her to OT and PT and SLP and all those therapies and all like the story times and swim lessons and lessons and ballet lessons or whatever I feel like putting her in, my mom can handle kind of all that during the day, during when I'm at work. Um, so that when I come home for work, we can kind of just have like our time without rushing to all those therapies and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, um, I think that's it. <laughs> Kind of just a rambly video of things that have been going on. Um, yeah, so I don't know. I'm going to get back into the swing of things with videos. I have a long list of videos that I want to do. Um, just like some low waste ones and some vegan and minimalism ones. Um, if I do end up homeschooling, I'll probably end up doing a whole homeschooling series. Um, one of the most popular channel videos on my channel right now is actually homeschooling while working, so I might actually do an updated version of that comparing what my plans are versus a typical school day um, and just like a minute minute calculation kind of thing. So I might do that because that video that I filmed before is like, I'm going to say it's since 2015 or 2016, so it's a bit old. Um, but yeah, I think that's it. I hope that... Uh, give a good update <laughs> let me know in the comments below what kind of videos you're like what you want the most um what you're interested in um do i need to do a q a i don't i don't know when the last time oh the q a is with my brother and my mom so the one with my brother i didn't get enough questions i got like two questions so we didn't do that the q a with my mom every day she was here we we're like we're gonna film the q a we're gonna film the q a she got on a plane and we forgot to film the q a so i'm gonna just like hold on to those questions until I don't know when, whenever she comes next, or maybe we'll have to do like a, a Skype kind of uh, video chat Q&A and see from there. But anyway, yeah, let me know in the comments below what kind of videos you want me to do. Thank you so much for your support. Um, thank you to my patrons in the wear, wear folk and above category for um, financially <laughs> assisting my channel. Um, and if you're interested in exclusive content, you can sign up at patreon.com slash findingmystar for as low as a dollar a month. And as exciting things happen, I post there. <laughs> Not that there's a whole lot of exciting things happening in my life right now, but I try to post there at least once a week. Um, and especially stuff that I'm not posting on Instagram or anywhere else um, to give kind of more exclusive content. So anyway, thank you, and I shall go now. Bye, guys.